What's up, y'all? I'm Andy Story with Wild Lumens, and today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to make a carnivore diet style organ meat beef stew. Now, it's no surprise that organ meat is probably the most nutritious substance humans can eat, specifically beef liver. And now we all know beef liver can taste a little, you know, eh. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a little trick to make it taste more palatable that most people don't even know. Now we're going to talk about what we need for this recipe. Obviously, you're going to need a crock pot. I have a rather large one and with a larger crock pot, I'm able to cook more food at once and meal prep for the entire week or three to four days. The other thing we're going to need is two liquids. One of the most nutritious things you can drink while on any diet is probably bone broth with filtered and or spring water. And if you are interested in making your own bone broth with beef bones, then I highly suggest checking out our how to, make bo how to Make Beef Bone Broth video down below. The other thing we're gonna need is some milk. Now this may sound strange, but the milk is going to be used to marinate the beef liver to help it taste better. Now that is the secret trick I was talking about before. So if you've never done it, try it out. You can go ahead and marinate it marinate the beef liver for two hours to overnight, depending on how much marination you would like. One other thing we will be using to improve taste and add more nutrition to our stew is salt. Now, the amount of salt is gonna be depending on how much you want to use, but I usually use a copious amount to coat all of the stew, all of the beef heart, and all of the liver. The best salt I can recommend is Redmond Real Salt because this salt is free of microplastics and other potentially harmful toxins because their salt is coming out of a ancient salt bed in the state of Utah. Plus, you may just receive a 15% off discount by using the discount code or coupon code WILD at checkout or use the link below. Let's talk about the stars of the show and that is our meat. You're gonna need two pounds of stew meat, preferably organic free range, grass-fed meat that was sustainably raised at your local farm or ranch. You're also going to need a quarter pound to half pound of beef heart and then a quarter pound of beef liver. Now these amounts are all subjective and based on how much you want to include in your stew. Now the amounts of meat used, specifically the organ meat, is, ba is completely subjective. As far as steps go for this recipe, it's rather simple. You're just gonna wanna make sure that your beef chuck or whatever meat that you're using for the stew meat is completely chopped up, as well as the heart and the liver. Now that I have all the meat finally cut up, I'm gonna place the beef liver into the bowl of milk, the beef heart into this bowl, as well as the beef chuck roast into the bowl, and then I'm just gonna mix a copious amount of salt into those meats. For the more ancestral diet style eaters out there, feel free to add some rosemary or diced onions and even carrot to your stew when you place it in the crock pot to give it a little extra taste. But since this is a carnivore diet style stew, we will be refraining from any and all foods from the plant kingdom. The last step before putting all of our ingredients into the crock pot is searing our meat over the stove in either a cast iron skillet or a Le Creuset skillet, which if you are new to Le, Cru Le Creuset, probably one of the more less toxic ways to cook your food. And I did a review of that as well. So check that video out. Now that our beef chuck roast is seared, as well as the beef heart, we can go ahead and place it into the crock pot as well as the beef liver that has been marinating in the milk. And then once that's in there, go ahead and pour the beef bone broth in as well. And then you're just gonna wanna make sure that all of the meat is fully submerged in the crock pot. Now everything's in the crock pot, ready to go. So I'm gonna place the top on and then put this thing on high for the next five hours and then in five re and then in five hours, this is gonna be ready to serve and we'll have ourselves a very delicious highly nutritious meal. And then while we are waiting, I just wanted to discuss one other place. If you don't have time to make your own bone broth, a great brand is Kettle and Fire as they do use a grass-fed 
beef bone to make their broth. If you guys have learned anything up until this point right now, I would really appreciate it if you just hit that like button as it helps appease the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. All right, y'all, it's been six hours. I'm starving, so now it's time to dig into this amazing stew. It smells great, it looks great. I know the organ meat is gonna taste fantastic as well as the beef chuck, so let's take a couple bites and see how this came out. And that was a piece of liver. And that was a piece of heart. The heart tastes fine. And now for the beef chuck. Wow, this is such a great way to incorporate organ meats into your diet. I think you all are gonna like it. Go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this recipe. And uh, I'm off to make another one. I'll see you there.